Hey, this is Black and Molly, and I'm here today with a tutorial. Now, um, what I'm going to do today um, is kind of like a cat's eye, like an alternative kind of cat's eye. So if you're goth or if you're looking for a new look, um, <laughs> then this would definitely be the look for you. Okay, first thing you're going to do, remove all excess makeup with your Parents' Choice Baby Wipes. These best makeup remover ever. Okay. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to need some scotch tape. This is really easy to do. He's, ew, gross. I think my boyfriend uses these in his car. Ew. <laughs> get like about an inch of a piece. And then you get another inch of a piece. So you need two one inch pieces. And what you're going to do to get a straight line is you're going to put these underneath your bottom lashes right there so it's gonna look like that and you do that on both eyes now I'm gonna tell you right now this is a pain in the ass when it comes off however you look gorgeous so and make sure it lines up with the corner of your eye I think that lines up pretty good so, anyway, now, um, normally everybody sees me wear these, my glasses, and I'm looking at something that just popped up. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Alright, now, the second thing you're going to need, if I can find it, oh good gosh, I cannot find it. Okay, well, we're going to do this the hard way. Today, we're going to be using a finger. Okay, now what you're going to need is your 120 palette, of course. Now, with your 120 palette, I've switched my trays around, so the bottom tray is the top tray and the top tray is the bottom tray. But what I'm going to use is the black, just your basic black on here. And you're going to rub your finger in it really, really, really good until it looks like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're just going to put that on the lid of your eye and you're going are you serious you use your finger and I'm going yeah I use my finger use to do my makeup all the time in fact I hardly ever use a makeup sponge and I think my makeup looks fabulous so but yeah get a really good coat of black on there because you're gonna need it Make sure it goes up into the crease, but not like really deep into the crease. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, I think I need a little more. If you think yours looks good, keep it at whatever stage of color you want. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm just going to do the one eye right now because this is going to be a long video if I do them both right away. Now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a beautiful color and I'm going to use it. Ew, gross, for the cat's eye. Now I like this purple right here at the very bottom. So I am going to use that. Ew. Now, as you can see, my daughter has gotten into my 120 palette, so it's a little gross. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that at the very edge, and then go up into the crease, close your eye, and then kind of go over here. And kind of swoof it. See what I'm doing? And kind of swoof it. But get most of the color back here where you're going to want it. There. And that's how you do that part. Now you're probably saying, okay, are you going to put anything underneath here? Yeah, I am. Actually, as soon as I can find a little bugger. Now, okay, 
Oh my gosh, I found what I was looking for before. Ha ha ha. Okay, well, now you're going to use a sponge thingy. This is just one out of my CoverGirl case, um, which I will be doing a review on, and it's called Shimmering Onyx. What you're going to do is you're going to go underneath here, like this, and don't do what I just did and poke yourself in the eye. And you're going to pull a little of that purple at the edge underneath while mixing it with the shimmering onyx. Now, I like the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the scotch tape off and it's just like a band-aid, just do it. Ready? One, two, three. Ow. But that's how it looks. I like it. I think it turned out great. Now, what probably sucks about it is now I have like this big white square right there. And to fix that, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I'm going to try to fix it. Anyway, but that's my tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do my other eyeball now. And I'm going to look fabulous. So, Black Widow Molly, over and out.